Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to ACAD Grids project session number one. In today's session, we will understand the project requirement as in what exactly the project is, from where the data is coming, how the data is getting loaded into Hadoop and then what are the different analysis that we, that we will perform on the data. So let's begin. The name of our project is Banking Data Analysis using Hadoop. I guess from the name itself, it is quite clear that the project is related to banking domain. Now we will understand what exactly the problem is and what are the different solutions. See, bank have a huge customer base. I guess you will agree with me in this. Every day, a new customer gets associated with a particular bank. Every day, a customer takes loan. Every day, some of the customers are giving paying back the loan that they have taken. So what I mean to say is every day, the customer database is getting changed, getting updated. Okay. Now, if, if the data is in traditional database management system, it requires proper structure. It requires huge amount of money. And then it does not support all the kinds of data. So there are problems with traditional database management system. To overcome that, Hadoop is there for help. First of all, Hadoop is completely open source. Hence, you do not have to pay anything to use Hadoop. So a leading banking and credit card service provider is trying to use Hadoop technologies to handle and analyze large amount of data. Hadoop framework itself is for large amount of data. It provides parallelism and it is free of course. So these things, you know, drive to the concepts of migrating from traditional database management system to Hadoop. Currently, the organization has data in RDBMS, but wants to use Hadoop ecosystem for storage, archival and analysis of large amounts of data. Creating the Hadoop cluster and deploying test code. So guys, this, this step is not important as the complete procedure, uh, the complete project will be executed in a CAD guild VM. You might use your own Hadoop environment or Cloudera or Hortonworks, whatsoever it is. So you just have to be sure with the paths that are used in the solution. You will have to make few changes in the paths. Next is data ingestion. It means bringing the data from RDBMS to HDFS. In our project, we are using MySQL. So we will be importing the data from MySQL to Hadoop. And this data import must be incremental and should happen after a certain time interval. So here we have given two minutes. It can be anything, okay? Like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, a day, or whatever it is, okay? So it has to be an incremental update. So guys, what exactly is incremental update? I will help you out with that. So this is my initial data present in MySQL, okay? Let's say at time is equal to T1, I have three records, okay? Now at time is equal to, at time equals T2, there were few new records that got generated, okay? So my task is to import the new data as the old data is already present in HDFS. I have already imported it. I don't need the same record. It will be waste of storage. So from incremental update, what I mean is we need to get the data, the new data that is there in MySQL. For that, we will be running MySQL uh, scoop job. Okay. That will help us in uh, importing the increment updates okay so below are the tables that have to be imported first table name is loan info 
incremental column loan id that means based on which field you will uh, distinguish okay what was the last record that was imported what are the new record that has to be imported so if i give my field if i give my incremental field as id so last field which it was uh, imported it was 102 so whenever i run my new job for incremental update i will write id equals 102 so from 103 onwards it will import the data okay similarly other table is credit card info incremental co column is cc number credit card number third table is shares info and in this gft timestamp in the incremental column all these data must be encrypted see what happened bank data is a very sensitive data it does not want any of the developer or engineer to come up with the data so because data is very important if it is uh, uh, compromise the complete uh, idea behind the analysis will be in vain so bank needs to encrypt the data in hdfs the hdfs data should be compressed so that it takes lesser space okay and scoop password must be encrypted so these are some of the criteria first of all the data must be encrypted it should be compressed and the scoop job that you will be running it should be password protected okay so uh, now these are the table details so I, as i said earlier there were three different tables loan info credit card info and shares info so these are the columns so let's check one by one loan info it have five different columns loan id it will be unique user id will be unique last payment date date on which the last payment was made against the loan taken payment installment installation sorry amount payable in installation and then date payable similarly credit card info have some of the columns and shares info is also having some of the columns okay now comes the analysis part so based on the data that is present in hadoop we have some analysis to perform first find out the list of users who have at least two loan installments pending so when we find out this based on this analysis there will be some business strategies that will be made you know the uh, if the same customer comes for further loan uh, you know uh, that person will be uh, that person will not be allowed with the loan amount and also whatever it is so we need to find out first uh, who have at least two loan installment pending that means person who have taken loan but then installment have not been paid at least the last two installment okay Similarly, we have other problem statement as well. Okay. Then comes the archival part. See what happens. Uh, different organizations keeps on taking the survey to know more and more about the customer uh, thinking, customer behavior, what exactly they uh, feel about the particular organization. So uh, there might be different teams available in different location and they will be taking the survey so there will be number of small files with the survey data so hadoop is not fit for smaller files as you guys are already uh, you know acquainted with hadoop you you know this uh, that hadoop is not uh, benefit uh, beneficial for smaller files so if, when a file is huge hadoop will perform the task faster so from archival what we what we mean is we need to bring the different files to a particular location and then we need to merge all the files into a single file after merging itself we will transfer the file into Hadoop okay and then further analysis will be done on survey data so there are certain survey files I will show you later what how exactly the survey files look like so as this is a beginning session we will just uh, have a walk through to the complete data and all so survey files have different columns and survey data survey questions ratings user id and so and so and from this particular data we need to find out some of the analysis like how many surveys got an average rating less than three provided at least 10 different users gave the rating then similarly there are certain uh, one more problem statement then organization also has a lot of emails stored in smaller files so nowadays as uh, uh, you know 
world is moving towards the uh, dig digital marketing and all so uh, you you might be getting a lot of uh, you know advertisement email so that email is also to keep a track how many customers check the email how many replied back to the email still the conversation is going on so based on that we, we have to find out certain analysis okay and this email is in xml format okay so that email for this we will be writing certain script and then we will be changing the structure and then loading into Hadoop and then we will be performing the analysis so this is the project requirement in our next session we will move ahead with the data creation and then data ingestion till then thank you take care